Good morning, everyone, and welcome to this training where we are having a look at how you run a normal Toastmasters meeting and the different roles and parts that it plays. I have here in the meeting with me, my fellow uh, presenter with me, dearest Luyanda Taylor. I love to call her first lady because she is our Toastmaster first lady of District 74. You didn't know that, did you? She is our District 74 first lady. And I'd like to welcome her so that she can introduce herself and what part she will be playing today. Please help me welcome Luyanda. <laughs> oh wow good morning everyone my name is leander teller as granny b has just mentioned today we will be taking you through the roles of, uh, of a toastmasters event we'll be having one speech and then granny b and i will alternate regarding all the different parts of the meeting and then we'll show you how it is that you take on the different roles and so that next week you will be running the show yourselves and we will just be pl playing support over to you, Granny B. Now, in Toastmasters, we have what we call a new member orientation, where we orientate you around Toastmasters. We're not going to do all of that orientation today. Our main focus is just going to be on that of the roles at a meeting. More or less the agenda, we're not going to look at all of it. Your goals, club meeting roles. Are the and that's where we start off with asking, what are your goals? Now. Our objective is to help you meet your goals. That's also one of the reasons why we have a member interest form, where we want to hear about the member interests. And we have a new member profile that you would complete. And after today, I will be posting them in the group and so that everyone can complete it and send it to the VPE so that the VPE can start processing this and handling it accordingly. How can we support you? Is there anything specific you want us to do to help meet your goals? That's why it's important for you. The, remember, the whole thing about Toastmasters is not to be an additive for you. It mustn't be an extra burden. It mustn't be an extra job or an extra whatever. It has to be to assist you to reach your goals. That's why it's important for you to know what are your goals. And then do you want to set your own time frame or do you want us to nudge you to participate? If you are a bit fearful and you say, please take my hand and walk with me, then we know that's what we need to do. If you say, I've got my own time frames. I will tell you when I'm ready. That's also great because then one can slot you in accordingly. And that's the kind of information that VPE needs to know in order to do the planning accordingly. 